Student Attendance Procedures for Teachers. The purpose of the presentation today is to clarify some of the key responsibilities and requirements of teachers regarding student attendance. School attendance plays a critical role in enhancing the lives of students in schools. All CEDP schools are working towards building strong cultures of attendance and improving attendance levels. Attendance is equal parts administration, professional legal duty and part of a student-centred framework of supporting students in schools. This expands the idea of attendance as not only about being present and accounted for, but attendance as a priority for every student every day, and attendance as an opportunity for learning and engagement, particularly for our most vulnerable students. The springboard for this work begins with an accurate record of attendance, and this starts with the roll call or classroom teacher. An accurate record of attendance is fundamentally important at a number of levels. Firstly, it is a central part of how schools ensure they fulfil their duty of care to students. Secondly, it is an important legal document. Because compulsory schooling is required by law, the attendance register is the only record which ensures both the schools and parents can be accountable in relation to this. Attendance registers are also sometimes used as evidence in court for criminal matters to prove the whereabouts of a student. Thirdly, there are implications for both compliance and censors, which is in turn linked to funding. Finally, the information held in the attendance register also means we identify students developing absenteeism with precision, allowing schools to intervene early. The attendance register has a predictive quality to it. A student's pattern of attendance in kindergarten in, and in year one can predict what their attendance will be like in their future schooling. So having this record accurate is essential. As you know, there are a number of key responsibilities that rest with teachers regarding student attendance. Depending on your school context, some of these responsibilities are performed in practice by other members of staff. However, the six key teacher responsibilities are to take daily attendance in faces and maintain an accurate record of student attendance. Record explanations for full day absences in FACES. Follow up on students with unexplained absences or emerging absenteeism. Provide clear information to students and parents regarding attendance requirements. Consult with the principal or staff with delegated attendance responsibility when a student's pattern of attendance is of concern and implement intervention strategies to support the regular attendance of students at school. In practice, what does this look like? It involves the role being taken at the beginning of the day. Students who are recorded as present need to be cited. When a student is absent, the role is marked with the appropriate attendance code. If a student arrives to class late, the school procedure for late arrival, partial attendance is employed, which is generally managed through the school office. If a student who has been absent has returned to school, request an explanation note. And if a note has been provided, submit it to the office and update the register with the appropriate code. Now taking the role or registering attendance is a daily task and because of the size of the data entry, and because of the different aspects involved, then there are a number of process errors that can occur. And I'd like to draw your attention to a few common errors and the implications these errors may have. The first issue is that attendance is not recorded until later in the day. This has implications should an emergency evacuation occur, as it would be impossible to have an accurate account of all students. The second issue involves recording a student as absent when they are present or as present when they are absent. This also has implications in terms of our legal obligations and duty of care to students and it is expected that we can account for their whereabouts. 
Another issue involves partial attendance not being registered accurately. If a student comes to class after the roll has been taken and has not been through the office, then that student will be registered as absent and in many schools the parent then receives a notification that their child is not at school, which can cause significant concern for the well-being of that child and it can erode the relationship with a parent if it appears that there is confusion regarding the whereabouts of their child. When absence notes explaining absences are handed in but do not get registered on the role as explained, once again the role is then inaccurate. And further to this issue involves the attendance code not being updated once a note is registered. The following video outlines how to record daily attendance, update attendance codes and view attendance reports in the FACES Student Information System. Recording attendance in FACES. At the start of each school day, students' daily attendance is recorded in FACES by the homeroom teacher using one of two options. The first and most common option is by using the link to the homeroom in the teacher schedule on the dashboard. This provides a list of all students in the homeroom and the attendance code defaults to present for all students. Teachers record absences and save the changes. The second option is to use the processes link in the list of tasks. This is used should a teacher or other staff member need to record attendance for any homeroom other than the one provided on link on the dashboard. The processes option allows the user to select from the list of filters a single homeroom or multiple homerooms or a single scholastic year group or groups. Again, all students in the selected group display and the attendance code defaults to present for all students. Any absences are recorded and changes saved. Please remember that even if no one is absent on the day attendance is being recorded, the Save Changes button must still be clicked. Once attendance has been recorded for the day, and while the teacher has the screen with students' attendance for the day displayed, it is easy to see a list of students with unexplained absences over the previous seven days. To do this, click on the Primary Report option and select from the drop-down list Unexplained Absences to follow up. A list of students in the class with any unexplained absence over the previous seven days will display. In instances where a casual teacher is responsible for recording attendance and does not have access to FACES, the paper roll is to be marked, signed and dated and sent to the school office as soon as possible so that the admin person responsible for transferring the data from the paper roll to FACES can enter this as close as possible to the start of the school day. The paper roll must then be archived. When following up on absences, each school should have procedures in place listing the person or persons responsible for updating absences when explanations are received. Often this will be the responsibility of the school support officer. However, in many instances, particularly in primary schools, the class teacher updates absences. When explanations are received for student absences, Details are recorded in the student attendance notes for the day and the attendance code must be changed to reflect the content of the note. One of the issues we have been made aware of is that the attendance notes are often added to the student record but the code is not changed. Please ensure that when entering notes related to any student absence that the code is amended accordingly. After seven school days, the little a absent code will be changed to a big A, unexplained or unjustified absence. Unexplained is when the parent or guardian has not provided an explanation for the absence and unjustified is when the explanation has not been accepted by the principal. Unexplained and unjustified absences both have the big A code. Unjustified absences need the word unjustified 
added to the attendance notes. Explanations may be received by SMS, email, written note or phone call. Ensure that the details of the conversation are recorded in the attendance notes, including the explanation received, the name of the person who provided the explanation, the parent or guardian, the time of the phone call or conversation, and the initials or name of the person who spoke to the parent. The principal always has the final authority in accepting explanations. SMS notifications are sent out by many schools, and when using Telstra Instant Messaging through FACES, once the response is received, this response is uploaded into the Student Attendance Notes field via a process completed by the School Support Officer. Reports relating to attendance that teachers should be aware of include the Daily Absence Report. This report lists all absences for the current day. This report can be filtered to view absences and partial absences for an individual homeroom or scholastic year. The date filter may be changed to view information for a different day or range of days and the action button provides other options including the option to add other information to the report or remove unwanted information. For example, the attendance notes column may be added and filtering applied to display unexplained absences with notes. The student daily attendance report lists every absence for every student since the start of the year. It includes any attendance notes and details about partial absences and like the daily absence report, may be filtered to view other information. The Student Attendance Summary Report provides statistical information about the number of full day explained and unexplained absences, as well as a count of partial explained and unexplained absences. Attendance rates may also be viewed as a public report by clicking on the Primary Report option and selecting Attendance Rates from the drop-down list. Help sheets on running and configuring these reports are available on the FACES Community website at facescommunity.para.catholic.edu.au. Teachers also have access to data and analytics about attendance at insights.para.catholic.edu.au. Click on the Resourcing and Regulatory segment and then the Attendance Summary thumbnail. Attendance percentages and number of absences by attendance code across the diocese display. By clicking on the link to each school, percentage rates and absences for each scholastic year group are available and it is possible to drill down even further to view data relating to each individual student. Other information about data and analytics will be available soon. Beyond ensuring an accurate register of attendance, teachers are well placed to support student attendance by emphasising attendance from day one. Start the conversation with students and their parents to promote attendance and encourage them to seek help if there are barriers to attendance. Follow up absences promptly and keep an eye out for patterns of attendance such as unexplained absences, lateness or absence on particular days. Monitor student absenteeism and check your school's attendance procedure to ensure you know when to act. Students are more likely to go to school when they know they belong and they know they'll be missed if they are not there. Encourage students to come to school on time every day by recognising punctuality, good and improved attendance. Thank you for your time and working towards improving attendance together. If you have any questions or require further clarification, please direct these to your leadership teams. Thank you.